Hey guys, what's up? I'm making this uh, video. It's basically going to be FAQ on jailbreaking. Now, this is going to be pretty low level, so if you're avid followers or anything, you don't have to watch this video, or you can just watch it for entertainment. Now, I'm going to briefly talk about, um, broadly, how jailbreaking works and what the risks are, and then I'm going to um, talk a little bit about some specific problems generally relating to the PC. Now, I'm using my iPhone to record this because I can record myself and my PC because it's um, so annoying because I don't have like a mic on it or anything and we'll get into um, the basic basics on jailbreaking now the first topic which is asked by a lot of starters is warranty now are you gonna screw up your device um, that you've just bought for hundreds of dollars because Apple's pretty expensive now what I have to say to that is you should not go into the Apple store with a jailbroken device they will not like you what you should do is restore your um, device and then go to the Apple store now um, this also leads into the um, risk with jailbreaking I've jailbroken my iPad, two iPhones and uh, three iPod Touch average of like five times these because I have to make a lot of videos and um, upgrade my devices a lot so um, also I've jailbroken maybe like ten people's um, iPods or iPhones in person and I know like four million almost five million people have watched their videos on YouTube so that's a lot of people jailbreaking there now, some people on our comments leave that their iPod was broken. Um, Ninety-nine percent chance, or probably way more than that, is that they just messed up and they um, they're not broken. They just need to restore their devices, and they're mad because something went wrong. Now, this uh, also I have another pretty common sense question, which is what's the difference between tethered and untethered jailbreaking? Now, what tethered means is that you'll have to run your jailbreak every time you want to turn on your device. This applies to when your device runs out of battery and you want to boot it up. Now, this can be a drag because you need your computer to do this, and generally it's faster than the whole jailbreak, but it takes a while, and you'll need a computer. So, I don't, I don't recommend tethered jailbreaks. Now, what usually happens is when a new version gets released, there's a tethered jailbreak before the untether is there. So... If you really need a jailbreak and you accidentally upgraded, I suggest doing tethered jailbreaks. Otherwise, you should probably wait till the untethered jailbreak. And what that means is it boots up perfectly fine. Now I'm going to be moving on to more um, specific questions, especially problems with the PC, uploading RAM disk in Red Snow, and zip files um, for your IPSW problem. And I'll be going to that right now. Okay, so the first problem has to do with running Red Snow. Now, if we get the uploading RAM disk error, I think that's the main one. This is probably why it didn't work. What you're going to do is find your Red Snow file, right-click it, and hit down there, Properties. Now, go to Compatibility, and you'll see Run This in Compatibility Mode. Now, I'm on an XP, but if you're not on Windows XP, like some other Windows, you can scroll down to XP and click that and then save that setting and it'll work better. I know this looks like Windows 7 but it's but it's actually XP. Now the second thing is if you right click run as you should run as administrator and that will help with fixing some other errors. Now the second problem is having a firmware file that goes into a .zip or it just looks like a folder. Now I know people are like why don't I have this cube thing and everyone is really mad and what you can do is with this folder you can right click it and you can um, compress to an archive and make this into a zip now when you have the zip one what you're gonna have to do is go into if you haven't done this already click on this to go to control panel now you'll go to folder options if you can't find folder options in control panel just google it please we get so many comments it's hard to answer everyone's now you're going to go to file types or no sorry view and scroll down and then uh, it'll say like uh, hide extensions for known file types so you're going to uncheck that and make it so it looks like this and unchecked now once you do that we can close out of these two and you'll see that there's a dot zip here sometimes it won't even show that now all you have to do is rename it dot IPSW. Now, once you do that, you're just going to hit yes, and bam, you have your firmware. 
Now that's how you do it, and I hope this uh, t this FAQ helped you guys. I'll be making more videos. This is more of the um, really easy stuff and things that a lot of people get screwed up on. So I hope this guys help. I hope this helps you guys, and I'll see you guys later.